So the final step for the chapter four. So we examined mesh current method, node voltage methods. Our conclusions are going to be examined now. Let's go in details. There are two conclusions, of course. Conclusion one says, a simple uh, analysis of a resistor circuit can be done by mesh current method in two levels. So simple, why it is simple? We are going to use less number of equations. That's why it is simple. Resistive circuits, just remind you what resistive circuits are. We have already said, but we can repeat it once more. Uh, those which has it dependent independent sources plus the resistor. If a circuit has got these elements, this circuit is called resistive circuit. So we, for this circuit, we can use the mesh current method, two level analyzing. Uh, analyzing. Uh, mesh current method, first level, we are going to write NE minus ND plus one any minus nd plus one range linear equations equations and the unknowns are the same and we're going to write if necessary we're going to write the supplementary equation solve this then find all the mesh currents that's the first level once you found the mesh currents that's not the end of the analysis because the analysis means find out all the elements current and voltages that's why we are going to find all the elements current in terms of mesh currents which has given a simple rule for that, and then use the definition relation, find out the element voltages. All the elements current and voltages has been found, means analyze finished. So in the second level, we finished this analysis. So the second conclusion is simple again. Uh, resistive circuits, two level, but at this time, the linear equations are going to be ND minus one times ND minus one range linear equations if necessary we are going to address uh, we are going to write these supplementary equations uh, once we wrote all this we are going to calculate the node voltages once we calculate the node voltages then we are in the second level we are going to find all the element voltages and use the definition relation find all the elements current so that is the end of the analysis circuit analysis so that's the end of it